Hey there, Bronx Porch Homestead. How are you? It's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks. It has flown by. But I figured, you know what? Let me check in with you. Let you know that all is good. Just busy. It's the start of a new season. Uh, it's October 1st. And keeping you up to date. So, knee is great. Remember, I had a knee pro problem. So... Um, hands are good. It's been raining the past couple of days. It actually would have been a perfect time to have done a lot of videoing because I had to clean out the coop and that showed a lot of work. So when you're an urban homesteader like I am, there are certain, um, there, the, there's certain things that happen in an urban homestead that don't necessarily happen in a regular farm. So living in an urban homestead, you are subject to no space. And also on um, the lack of space to take in stormwater. You know, it goes through the pipes, they get backed up, it's flooded. Uh, so that's what happened. So for the past week, that's what I've been doing. For the past month, I've been getting the nonprofit that I am currently volunteering for uh, ready for the new fiscal year, which started today. Uh, and that was a lot of admin work. I'm not complaining about, you know, the work. It, it has to be done because, you know, it does benefit the community. But between running a urban homestead and doing uh, nonprofit work, it was just no time to do a video. And since I don't do these videos right now for any monetary reasons, uh, I do them to uh, encourage and and also show other urbanites um, that if an urban person like me can do it, uh, then you can, you know, you can also do it. The hands have been a little bit cackling. Uh, I've during the during the morning time and I've been giving them um, some food but yeah I'm making dinner I'm about to pick some beans that's why I'm doing this video so you could see me pick beans why not right since you're not picking beans I'll pick the beans for you and you can watch that it's a very short video I just wanted just to say hello that's about it you know hi and hope you're doing well and hope you're thinking about what you'll be doing for the fall season and maybe even planning for next year and how you can grow food at home even from your own little windowsill so let's go back out there and pick up some beans all righty um we are we've been having a problem with a lot of lantern flies uh they are pretty much everywhere so i've been killing a lot of them but i just want to show you these are my beans. So remember when we planted these here? These are buckets. They're not even getting a lot of sun at all. And, you know, they just get some. But check out my beans, guys. And that's what I'm going to have with my salmon tonight. It's time we harvest them. See that? So if we go up here, I want to make sure that you are part of this experience. Look at that growing something that you are going to eat see that let's harvest this again one here oh look at these here well and this was all from the rain the other day by the way yep we are going to eat these it's still very warm in new york city which is where i'm located in the bronx and uh here's another one I don't want to pull the, okay, great. All right, I'm doing this with one hand, so that one's turning yellow. Let's leave that one there. Let's put that there. Wow, these are super. Yeah, I was, I was gonna pick them yesterday. It was still drizzling out, and I said to myself, you know what, this is something that I am gonna film because you can experience picking beans through watching uh, this video. Okay. Yeah. You know, this is the fun part about growing food, right? 
Now, these beans, I'm going to tell you now, I could have probably, uh, I could have probably grown these indoors because I really did not need a lot of light here. I'm surprised these did so well. Look at that. Let's go down further. Here's another one. Look at them. Let's go down here. Again, I'm doing this with one hand. Okay. This one needs to be washed. Look how dirty that is. All right, leave those there. See that? Okay. Oh, look at these. See? All right, so perfect time. Yeah, these can definitely be grown indoors uh, you do need a big pot though that's a five gallon pot that i have there uh, hold on let's see any more yep okay all right let's bring these down here yes i'm gonna wash them i know they're on the steps okay that's a lot it's for my daughter and I get this one hanging. So this is why I took the camera out. Well, the camera feature from the phone. And um, wanted to video me picking. You know, sometimes living, what is it? Precariously through others. I know that's what I do. You're not gonna see me jumping off a plane. I'd rather see that. <laughs> okay, hold on, let's see. I think we're good. Oh, no, no, there's another one there. Okay, guys. Okay, so that's, the, I'm gonna leave them there. Leave them here. Let's see, any more here? Oh, here's a big one. Okay, I'm just gonna saute these not too much. I'm going to start doing a little bit more videos as I continue to harvest. All right, look at that. Okay, so before I leave you guys, I just wanted to show you the harvest of green beans. And you harvested with me. See that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 33. This is enough for two people, even three. Look at that, huh? One seed, guys, one seed. Yes, you can grow these indoors. Anyway, just wanted just to um, bring you along with me harvesting beans. Take care. Until the next time.